Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, it's that time again, folks. I mean, everywhere you look, flus, uh, people are running high fevers, stomach flus, salmonella poisoning in the beef, uh, you know, the romaine lettuce has got e, e. coli in it. Everywhere you turn, there's contagious situations, and it is no better in the Congo as Ebola has hit a, a point now where it's unforgivable. 62% of the people who are getting, uh, catching this infection of Ebola are dying. They say the strand is the worst they've seen. And because of the warring factions there, the medical relief is having a hard time getting into that area to help them. So this has become something, a dangerous potential epidemic. So we're praying for all the people in, Ebola, uh, in the Congo. We don't want to see this thing spread in Africa. But I always wonder about it. What is the, what's the origin of it? And really, what's going on? You hear about these labs and all of these different uh, germs and all these different viruses and bacteria that's growing. And we all know, folks, that bio-warfare is, is a reality. So we went to go get the expert to help us understand what's going on, especially when it comes to dealing with these types of uh, potential catastrophes. And joining us from GetTheTea.com, our good friend, Ronnie McMullen. Ronnie, great to have you today. How you doing, Pastor? I'm doing fine. You know how it is. It's the busy time of year, and uh, we got to stay healthy. We got to stay happy, and we got to keep going, you know. We, we got to keep going. Yeah, that's, that's the way we function. Ronnie, we got a situation here, seriously. And I mean, here we go again with Ebola. And I understand it, the Congo area and Sierra Leone. But my concern is every year is something different. Like Brazil, it's, uh, you know, the Zika virus or it's the bird flu in China. And we're hearing about all these secret labs and bioweaponry. I mean, is this a really a serious threat or is that being blown out of proportion? It is my opinion it is a very serious threat. It is my opinion that biowarfare is happening right here in the United States. And the worst thing, and again, this is my opinion. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert, but on the same token, uh, I have studied this for many years. Um, I think, <laughs> well, I hate to say this, it's terrible, but I think um, it's not the enemy as in Russia or China or Iraq or all of this that are trying to get us. I think it's our leaders trying to take us out and they don't want to kill us. They just want us to die slowly so they can take all our money because that's all they run on is money. They have no morals. They have no soul. Um, they just run off of cash, you know, which is funny because you think about how you trade paper for food. You trade paper for a car. You know, it's very interesting. You know, I mean, just the idea of how our financial system works is crazy. But because of this, they want us to go and get sick so that the healthcare system can take all our paper. So it's very weird, but I think biowarfare is taking place right now. And I can prove that it's happened in the past. Okay, now, uh, your couple points you've brought out here. One is, it is strange we trade paper for uh, goods and services. You know, you think back to the early days when the pilgrims were here, the settlers, and they were negotiating with the uh, Native Americans. You know, it was yeah. trading corn for meat, you know, furs for, yeah. you know, so it was value for something valuable. So you got a great point. What's happened is we've become a, a, a weird, greedy society, and, it, and people are making money off the affliction of others yes yes and it's all ink on paper yeah so i mean so having said that uh when you say you, you're really concerned that maybe the greatest threat to the united states of america is not russia not china not a nuclear holocaust from north korea but it's actually those that would want to control this population by using different methods different diseases or or sicknesses or chemtrails or just different all kinds of things to where maybe it doesn't kill you but it just keeps you coming back for more to try to stay alive I mean and and we can't even fix our health care system R Ronnie we can't fix the health care and now 
A federal judge says Obamacare is totally unconstitutional. How come it took, what, eight years to get that ruling? Yeah, and, and this is the thing is what's really sad here is depending on if we like one of our head honchos, if we like the president or we don't like the president, we trust. So we say, okay, um, Obama's got health care and it won't cost us very much. What, that was got to be the biggest lie there ever was told. And Obama did it with a smile on his face. What a guy. Yay. Um, I, I have a hard time with this. And we trust and we put our health care in other people's hands. That's our first mistake. Yeah. Okay. That's our first mistake. That's like you going downtown and handing your wallet full of credit cards and cash to somebody you don't know and say, can you hold this for me while I go to dinner? I mean, it's good crazy. luck coming back and getting that wallet. But that's what we do. We trust the doctor that, yes, he's gone to school, but think about the schooling. Schooling's a funny thing, too. I mean, I don't know. I go deeper than most people, I guess. But I think schooling's a funny thing, too. If you go to school, whether it be college, high school, university, doesn't matter, you only pass if you give them the answers they want. So if you give them an answer that might be right, no, you're not going to pass unless you give them an answer they want. So point being with this, doctors are going to tell you what they know. But if they're trained on nutrition, that'd be great. But they're not. They got four hours of training on nutrition, maybe six. So six hours of nutrition and a bazillion hours on pharmaceuticals. So this is not a system that weighs in the rights of what really works. This is a system that weighs in getting the pharmaceuticals crammed down our throats. And this is the system we have. And now... I've seen billboards, ER waiting, only 23 minutes. Like I'm supposed to go, okay, honey, I don't want to get my juggler cut unless that thing says like 12 minutes or less because I might die in the ER. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like how weird is it looking at a billboard saying 23 minutes wait, only 23 minute wait time for ER. This is our broken, broken down system. We have lines in urgent care. I remember going to urgent care and I, I broke out because a bee stung me on the neck. And so I broke out and I was all red and weird. And so I thought, maybe I better go and see what's going on. And I go down to the urgent care and she says, there's a two to three hour wait till we'll get to you. <laughs> and I was like, are you kidding? She says, I can tell you what's going on. And she could not diagnose, but she did right there. She's like, go get yourself some Benadryl and things will change. You'll be fine. So I'm like, thank you for the tip. But if you go on a legal basis, she was not allowed to do what she did. You know, Ronnie, uh, saying about the urgent care. Now, of course, I got ill with a bad stomach flu this week and had to take cancel Thursday and Thursday night shows. Barely crawled in here and tried to do a show Friday. I was not able. And uh, so come Saturday morning, I finally was over all the violent vomiting and, and the high fever but I was so sore, my rib cage, Ronnie, that I said, I, I felt like, Heidi, I might have cracked a rib. Or, or she goes, you might have pneumonia even. Uh, you might want to go in there. Just get a chest x-ray. Go to urgent care. So I got 8 o'clock in the morning on Saturday. I figured I could just walk in there. It won't take long. I'll be out of there in 30 minutes. Get a, get a quick x-ray. No, the, it was already full of people. Uh, it was one hour before they got me in. Uh, while I'm out there, people started puking everywhere they didn't have bags for them it was a total state of chaos and i'm like oh my lord this is the most dangerous place in the world to be ronnie our health care system's in trouble and uh now we're talking bio weaponry bio weaponry and not just maybe to control the population in america but isn't this a, a potential catastrophic killer for the world it's already happening it's already happening right before us and don't think Monsanto's not playing the game in here because let me let me just give a, a little uh, dial in to biological warfare. We need to know what it really means. And here is here is the definition: biological warfare, also known as germ warfare, It's the use of biological toxins or infection agents such as bacteria, viruses, and fungi with the intent. Notice that word with the intent to kill or inca incapacitate humans, animals, or plant life as an act of war. And, you know, that's what war is, to kill, to destroy, to break things. 
And uh, so with that kind of mentality in mind, knowing that that's the type of situation that we're looking at, this is the most dangerous time probably in the history of humanity. You know, when I grew up as a kid, I was thinking, well, back in the medieval days, they didn't have any medicine, you know, and they had the black plague. They didn't know they didn't know they didn't have microscopes. They couldn't even see the germs. Now it's so much better. Right. I mean, we got all this medical equipment. We, we've got uh, cures. To, we can, but now vaccines. I mean, the doctor asked me, would you like a flu shot? I said, no. Well, he said, you didn't get one last year. I said, I know. And I was I didn't get sick one time last year. I said, so no, no, no. You know, that's why you're still alive. See, you know, tell me, doctor, what's in that vaccine? Can you tell me right now? Or do you have to go to a paper and look because you don't flip and know? See, and this is where I, I get so irritated because I go, these guys, and, and, and it's not that these doctors are trying to kill us. That's really not the truth. They are just, I know it's going to sound crazy. They're uneducated. Okay. What? They're uneducated. What? They're educated in their field but they're not educated. It's kind of like, you know, and this is kind of facetious a little bit, but it's like they can play doctor, but they can't go get in the car and drive to work. In other words, they, they're trained for the specific thing they're doing. Uh, nothing else. But so yeah. You said, hey, what about some Allison? What about the tea? What about anything natural? Vitamin C, doesn't matter. They would look at you like, oh, yeah, well, that's not going to work. Really? You have training on that, do you? Did you go to four years of school? To learn about nutrition? Oh, you didn't. So how can you make a, a, an opinion that's educated? You cannot. So now we have doctors uneducated in an area. So it's like, you know, if I said, hey, I'm going to buy a Honda. What do you think? Oh, they're the greatest car ever. How do you know? Well, I just said that. Oh, okay. Well, does that mean Honda is the greatest car ever? Just because you said that? Am I supposed to trust that? And this is, the, this is where I was going. We trust this, and yet there is, there's living proof that we are being dumped on chemicals in our air and our water. It's been going on for a very long time. In fact, when I did my studies, a lot longer than I ever thought. And this is happening without our consent. It's not like they write you a letter and they get it in the mail and says, by the way, Wednesday we're going to be dumping chemicals and toxins, bacteria, and viruses on you. And we just really uh, think you should be wearing a mask that day because we want to see what the air and the solar and, and the radiation is going to do to uh, people. <laughs> well, <Are> you, really? <laughs> well, you bring up Allison, and, and that is one of the products that you have available at GetTheTea.com. Folks, this is Ronnie McMullen. He's our guest today from GetTheTea.com. That's GetTheTea.com. And you can uh, go to his website. Of course, he has the best tea in the world, and that I can absolutely vouch for. But he has a lot of other products as well, including this Allison. So what does Allison do for us, Ronnie? Allison is really a, a breakdown of, of garlic. And when I say garlic, it's not like you can take that pill and you're going to stink and have bad breath and all the stuff that, you know, go, coming out your pores and you sweat it out. None of that. It's the healing part of the garlic clove. And notice the word I used. It's the healing part of the garlic clove. And that's going in your body. So... When a garlic clove bruises, allicin is released, and then the bruise goes away. So we're putting that in our body. Okay? So um, let's put it this way. You, I, I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll use me, I rarely get sick. And the sicknesses that are going around, in fact, you know, I was talking uh, to somebody earlier, and basically uh, the sicknesses that are going around, they're saying are atrocious this year. Brutally. In fact, the, you know, Pastor, you were just talking about a violent flu that you had, you know. Right. And this is something where, you know, well, like when I, if I ever have that, which I haven't had it for a long time, thank God, um, I, I just douse the tea. I mean, my daughter one time had uh, stomach poisoning, you know, uh, and that's, you know, food poisoning is brutal because you just violently vomit for, you know, eight to ten hours and then you're done, but you feel like you died. Yeah. It cut her time in half. I mean, it was like a couple hours and she was over it. So it helps flush. Now, think about this. What should we have in bad times? And I don't think we're headed towards good times. Uh, I think we're headed towards challenging times. So what would you want to have in your arsenal? You want to have a piece of gold? Okay. And a guy over here has got some tea that will help you get well. Well, how about if you trade that tea for a piece of gold? The guy says, no, I don't want to trade because I want to feel better. Who cares about the gold? So, 
and I'm not saying that gold's bad. That's not where I'm at. What I'm saying is when, it, when the, it, the rubber meets the road, people are going to want to be healthy. They're not going to want to be sick. Well, there's no question, folks. Your health is one of the most important things. You, I mean, without it, look, you live in this life. You want to have a quality of life. And, and that really does require eating nutritiously, exercise, and taking supplements. Because unfortunately, Ronnie, as you know, the food is not what it once was. It's not even real in a lot of cases. We're not getting the no. true vitamins that we need. Uh, folks, pick up the no, phone. Food, food, it's not. It is not what it is. And again, we talked about it, I think, on this show. Doritos does not register in your body as a food. It's just, folks, it's just pick up. It, this is why you eat a bag of Doritos and you go, I'm hungry. And you think, man, I just ate a bag of Doritos, you know, and I'm still hungry because your body said, I need food. Where is it? You're like, you're thinking, well, I gave it to you. I, I had Doritos. And the body's going, no, you didn't. You, you didn't give me anything. So this is why, and there's, I'm just picking on Doritos. There's a ton of foods out there that have no value whatsoever when it comes to food. And, and you know, people could think I'm saying this just so I can push uh, supplements. You know, here, let me push supplements on this show and tell you how bad and scare you to death. You know, that's not where my heart is. I'll just tell you this. Um, there will be a time that you'll remember this. Even if you say, no, I don't, I don't want to buy, you'll remember this because you'll go, you know what, I should have. And we, we have sale. I, I do sales all the time. We have the biggest sale of the year going on right now at GetTheTea.com, which is buy two months of Super Tea, or you can mix and match your teas. You buy two months, you get one for free. So that's a $35 savings. It's, it's wonderful. And that's going on right now. And I do that um, because I want people to, to get on this product. You know, if you're not on the tea, some people, they'll, they'll drink the tea for a couple months and then they stop. It's like, okay, I wash my car, we're good. You know, it's like, well, that, yeah, that is good. But what about six months when you went through 25 potholes and there's mud all over your car? You're going to go to a nice banquet, you know, in an ugly, dirty car? No, you're going to wash it. You should be washing it, you know, once a week. Well, you should be in your, when you're drinking the tea, you should be flushing. With, that's what that does, a gentle flush every day. Now, there's a few days during the month you should get off of it, you know, and don't, don't take anything. And that should be any, if you're supplementing, you should always have two or three days here and there that you just don't take anything. And the reason for that is it resets your body because your body gets used to stuff. And I would say even exercise. Let's say you go, now I'm going to go give 20 minutes of exercise every day. That's not a good thing. You want to do 20 minutes. You want to do 15. You want to do 30. You want to move it around because your body... If you just do 20 minutes every single day, every single day, your body gets used to it and says, okay, I need more. So you'll find there's another threshold to beat. But if you're moving it from 15, you know, sometimes 10, you might even miss a night. And then other times, 30 or 40 minutes, then your body says, oh, what are you going to give me tonight? You know, it, it, you're tricking your body so your body becomes healthier. And this is why in vaccines there's a little bit of the flu, which actually is a lot more than that. And the reason they do that is so you get used to it, so your body says, oh, another flu comes on, and it pushes it away. So it's very important to trick the body so that the body can do its best results and keep the immunities going for you. Folks, Ronnie McMullen, GetTheTea.com. Pick up the phone. That deal he just said I think is pretty important. You buy two months' worth of tea, you get the third month free. And there's the phone call right there, the phone number, 928 308 0408 or just go to his website at getthetea.com and getthetea.com place your orders really uh, i think it's a great deal ronnie you know we're talking about the fact that this bioweapon again i mean look i was one time driving down the road i was on a way to preach somewhere i stopped at a gas station and a guy was out in the store but he looked through the window he saw me he recognized me he came out wanted to shake hands and talk for a moment and then told me, said, look, I used to work for the federal government and I was in security and we actually had to secure these labs. And he said, I just want you to know something. When you work there long enough, you start hearing enough what's going on. And I want you to know the 35 most dangerous viruses in the world are being manufactured. And he didn't say, for, I said, well, what, what do you mean manufactured? And he said, they're being, they're making more of them in case they need to go to bioweaponry. And he said, I, I, I'm just, that's all I want to tell you. But he said, the world is dangerous. Well, I, I wasn't sure I could believe him or not. What I was asking you, what is your opinion, Ronnie? Is it, 
could he have been telling me the truth or, uh, or a little fiction there? I would just tell you to go to the internet and look up Lab 257. Lab 257. That'll tell you everything you need to know on what we're talking about right now. And so the answer to that in short form is, yes, it is happening. Here's what I don't think the moron uh, leaders of this world are thinking about. So let's just, and, and I'm not for war in any way, shape, or form. I'm not for killing in any way, shape, or form. I'm not for any of that. I don't even like cutting down a tree because that's a live organism that's there for our benefit. But let's just go there. So if you take a gun, put a bullet in it, and shoot someone, you're going to kill that person. That's a really bad thing. You have a biological uh, germ or something very dangerous, and you release that in the room, you're not only going to kill the enemy, you're going to kill yourself, you're going to kill anybody else that walks in that room, and that's going to happen for who knows how long, depending on how the virus was engineered. So you're talking about something that cannot be controlled. A gun can be controlled. You shoot somebody, you shoot a target, you go a certain place, and you can control that bullet pretty much unless you're, you know, it's ricocheting. Where you have a biological germ warfare, you can't control what they're going to do. And then... <laughs> they mutate. So you have this biological agent, which turns into this, this, and this. And then you go, whoa, hey, we can't fight it. We have a vaccine for uh, biological A, but we don't have one for the mutation of B, C, and D. So now we're, we're screwed because we don't have anything that's going to help us fight B, C, and D. All we have is a vaccine for A. And this is why I, I scratch my head trying to figure out why these morons at the top, and they're like, hoo, 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 isn't this funny? People are dying crazy. <laughs> You're going to kill your own. Yeah, I mean, that is a fact. Yeah, you know, it's going to come back to bite you. There's no doubt about that. Uh, and in this world right now, I, I was down in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We were at a conference, and there was the, a gentleman was up there. He worked for the CDC, and he started giving us – the, uh, he was talking about the 1918 Spanish flu, but then he, he began to tell us, look, that's nothing. When the bird flu makes one more mutation, just one more mutation, it will stop. It, it, it already will go from bird to human. But he said, we're one mutation away from human to human to human to human. We have no vaccines ready, none. And we're not going to make any because we have no reason to make one yet. So maybe we need to get some apple cider. Maybe we need to get some apple cider plus. Ronnie, tell us about it. Well, I can't guarantee that the products are going to keep you perfectly if, if some bird flu comes along. But I'll just put it to you this way. If your immunities are up, you have a better chance, a better stab at bypassing some of these things that are going to come down the road. Um, and, and hopefully they won't. You know, hopefully this is just fear tactics from up above, you know, whatever from hell itself. Um, that's kind of what I'm hoping. I remember the bird flu and the pig flu and all the things, and that was back, you know, five, ten years ago. And they were pushing that big time, and, you know, it's going to be an epidemic. And, and, of course, it never went anywhere. But and, and the same thing with SARS. You know, it went somewhere, but it didn't go like what they, I'll say, what they wanted. And this goes back to if it goes really bad, they'll pop a vaccine, but it's not you, like do your studies on vaccines. You know, they say, oh, this vaccine is for the flu vaccine. I think it, if I remember right, it was under 20 percent that it actually will knock out your flu. So you have an 80 percent chance getting a flu vaccine and getting something possibly worse. And even if you didn't get anything worse and you just had the flu vaccine and it, you have an 80 percent shot, it's not going to work. So then you paid your five bucks, 10 bucks, whatever. I don't even know what they cost. Um, but you notice the vaccines aren't free. They're not giving them away. I mean, once in a while, and they, the only way they give them away is, you know, put it on your insurance and it's no big deal. It won't cost you a dime. Yeah, but then we just rack the insurance. And, and this is the game. And, and how many times do you remember wind the clocks back 10, 20, 30 years ago where you didn't even have to have insurance? And now you do. It's mandatory. If you drive a car down that, that U.S. highway, and they pull you over for whatever they pull you over for, and you don't have insurance, you get a ticket. So now you got to go insurance and pay the piper, and you got to pay the ticket. So that's mandatory. And who thought that up? You know, you know that's like going to save my life is having insurance? And, so, and I'm not against insurance. I'm just, 
it's kind of like the health care bill when it came out. It's like, okay, so you want to have this Affordable Care Act. Yay! <laughs> now we're going to ding you on your taxes because you don't have it. Well, wait a second. If it's so great, why do I have to have a threat to my taxes? That's the question. Uh, Ronnie McMullen with us, folks. Ronnie McMullen, get the T.com. That's Ronnie McMullen, get the T.com. He's running some great specials right now. Uh, you can call in an order, pick up the phone, dial the number 928 308 0408, and get the T. He just said you can get two, if you buy two months with the T, you get the third month free. But also, he's got some other wonderful uh, specials running. Great supplements. Allison, you know that's very important to have. I, I think the apple cider vinegar, I'm a big believer in that. But I think also he's got several other major supplements. When you're dealing with blood pressure, you're dealing with uh, your sugar needs to be regulated, uh, and several other things you might be dealing with. Ronnie, give us, uh, give us another two or three that you recommend for this holiday season. I think Minerals Plus is a beautiful thing because it's got your uh, D3, which we're usually deficient on. It's got vitamin E in it. It's got potassium, calcium, magnesium, and 72 essential minerals. So it's a home run hitter, um, especially for just keeping immunities up. Um, for those of you that are having glucose issues and you want to do some balancing, uh, our, our takedown tea, that's right. Buy two, get one free. I, I made sure that everybody can get a little bit of something. If you go, well, I want to try the super tea, but I kind of want to try pomegranate and the peppermint. We got a three pack and you only pay for two and you get three. So that way you can try the different flavors. So we got a lot of stuff going on. And then also, you know, Allison, but we always have that colostrum. It's very important to get colostrum. Um, you want to talk about GI tract stuff. You want to talk about colostrum. Um, but I, I tell you the minerals plus is one of the new things. And then of course, if you're just hating to make tea because you're not a tea person, and you got some glucose issues and you want to do some balancing acts, we have takedown pills. And boy, <laughs> yeehaw, I love them. How's that? I'll just go with that. Read between those lines. Um, I love them. So, um, you, you know, you don't want to be type 1, by the way. You want to be type 2. Um, and you might see some help. You, you just might. So, uh, helped me. We'll go with that. You know, folks, uh, and we've also been talking here with Ronnie McMullen from GetTheTea.com, been talking about the outbreak of Ebola in the Congo. We're talking about bioweaponry that's out there. You know, it's important to eat healthy, drink a lot of water, drink a lot of tea, take some of the supplements to go with your healthy meal you're eating. And, you know, you, of course, you've got to put your faith in the Lord and prayer. And, uh, and by doing these things, I think you, you're overall – trusting really the plan of God. You know, when I study the Bible, Ronnie, it talks about certain ways to eat that's yep. totally yep. for our benefit. Am I right? Yeah. Well, just go to the Daniel fast, and that's fruits and vegetables. Um, there was no meat in the Daniel fast. No. Uh, I, I've seen churches kind of go a different way, and they'll put chicken in there or whatever. And I'm, I'm like, you know, you're reading into this. <laughs> you know, it is fruits and vegetables, and Daniel was much stronger. So, um, yes. And, and here's the other thing, too. If we're lazy with our diets and we're lazy with our exercise and certain things, um, you know, don't we can't expect, and this is my opinion, uh, and this is not maybe pastor's opinion, but my opinion is I don't think God's going to meet us there if we're not taking the steps. Now, you know, if we take the steps, then he's going to take us the rest of the way. And, and that, I believe in that. But he's not a fan of laziness. He's not a fan of you doing nothing and just sitting on the couch watching TV saying, well... I'm going to feel better just doing nothing. You know, it, it, it's not going to happen. But if you do something, you know, um, it's like, you know, my back has, has really had a lot of problems. And so I started just, you know, going the natural way because I'm not a surgery fan. So I started looking up. Oh, how, how do I get this bad back? And somebody said, you, do you know anything about plank? I said, like a plank of wood? <laughs> sort of, except it's your body. And I said, my body. So basically you, you get ready like you're going to do a push-up. So you have your hands out straight and your, your chest and your back goes straight all the way down your butt and your legs and then your two feet at the bottom. So you look like a kind of like a Star Wars flyer and, um, and it's not hard. And then you just hold it. You don't do push-ups. You just hold it. And you think, well, that's pretty easy. Well, the first 10 seconds is 
It's plenty easy. But get to 60, 70, 80 seconds, you'll be shaking. You'll be shaking like a leaf. And you know what? Do you how much energy you're using just to do that and how many back parts you're saving and nerves and everything else? It is a wonderful thing. And I just started two weeks ago. I'm already getting a six-pack. And I'm like only doing it, you know, twice a day at, at a minute and a half. You know, I've worked up to a minute and a half. I'm pretty proud of it, actually, Pastor. But uh, I'm at a minute and a half, and it's like, you know, and I can see my, you know, hate to say this, but I can see my fat around my six pack, and I go, I gotta get rid of that fat. You know? <laughs> but otherwise, I'd be like, hey, Stallone ain't got nothing on me, you know. So anyway, but point being is, we we need to do our part, and you know what? It doesn't have to be this huge hour workout that says I can't do it, because we got to get rid of I can't. Just take a walk. If you walk just around the block, if you walk to the end of the street and walk back, that's what you didn't do yesterday. That's a great start. And people, it's like baby steps. If you just do baby steps, you'll be so much better. You don't have to do the whole thing. You know, if you did plank for five seconds, that's five seconds more than you did yesterday. And that's the key is just doing a little bit. And you'd be surprised when you do that five seconds. It's almost like God saying, I bet you could do five seconds more. You know, you walk to the end of the street, you probably could walk just a little bit more. And that's where we'll get that extra energy and that extra power. Folks, get the T.com. Get the T.com. Ronnie McMullen with us. Uh, again, you can pick up the phone and call in an order if you want to at 928 308 0408 or go to his website at www.getthetea.com. I don't know where this time flies when we get when we get with Ronnie, but he always brings this <laughs> great information for us. So, I Ronnie, love too much, Pastor. I blab too much. That's all right. It's all right. Hey, I want you to have a great, great holiday season. Uh, may Merry Christmas to you, Ronnie, and to your family. And appreciate you coming on, being with us today. Same to you and everybody out there. Have a great Christmas. Have a wonderful Christmas, and have it full of joy and love. Amen. Amen. That's it, folks. Ronnie McMullen, get the tea.com. Trust me, the tea tastes great and it's good for you. 928 308 0408. And we'll see you next time right here on the coming apocalypse.